Hello, welcome to class. Hope you're doing okay. In our previous lessons, we talked about what families, high frequency words, and contractions. We said what families are words that have the same letters and sound. Also, we said high frequency words are sight words. Today, you will learn more on compound words synonyms and antonyms, and shades of meanings. You're going to learn everything concerning these topics. It sure will be fun today, so sit back and relax while you learn. Compound word. What is a compound word? A compound word is formed when two words are joined together to make a new word. So, you add two words together to make a new word. Examples of some compound words. And we have pancakes. Notebook is also a compound word. Bus car, it's a compound word. Rainbow is a compound word. All of these that have just been mentioned are compound words. Now let's move over to synonyms and antonyms. This means words and opposites. Synonyms are two words that have the same meaning. Examples, bug, insect, pail, bucket, car, auto, small, tiny. All of these are synonyms. Good job. Why antonyms are words that have opposite in meaning antonyms have words opposite in meaning all right let's look at some of our examples of antonyms now we said antonyms are opposite so up down on off good bad yes no all right, here we are at shades of meaning. Shades of meaning. Some words mean the same thing, but not exactly the same thing. The small difference is called shades of meaning. The difference in meaning of words are called shades of meaning. So when you see two words that sound almost alike, there is a shade of meaning. Let's examine the shades of meaning. Big, it means size or extent. Huge means extremely large. Enormous means very large in size, quantity, or extent. These words look alike, but they have slight variance in meaning. Examples of shades in sentences. The rock is big. The rock is huge. Now, we have explained the meaning of big and huge. Okay, always remember, shades are written from weakest to strongest. That means the word with the weakest meaning come first. So, like big and huge, that's what you just saw. So, big has a weaker meaning than huge. I hope you're learning. Good job. I hope you had an interesting time learning. Mm. Yeah, no. Attempt all your quizzes. Bye for now and see you in our next class.